Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try using black, true blue, a little bit of silver metallic, emerald green, and I can never pronounce that, so I'm not gonna say it. Um, I don't want the main color. I think to be anything other than blue. I'm gonna try to make this the main color. So get it started. Oh, this has not been opened. Get it started with a bunch of blue. And then some silver in there. I can lift this one up and pour it down the side so it doesn't mix as much. And then what should be next? Let's do green. I kind of forgot I already put too much paint in, but we can make this work still. And then I'm gonna go like this. Oh no, that's not good at all. Oh well. And then the last color. Okay, now what I do is I pour it from where I poured it down. I pour it out from where I poured it down. So, just, let me adjust this a little bit. So pour it out like this and then move back and forth. And we wanna mix all these colors together in like a zigzag pattern. And the blue is starting to become the most prominent, which is what I wanted. Typically, if you want a color to stand out the most, just add it, add it first, at least for this type of pour. So I'm gonna put some on the sides, help it stretch better. Okay. So I'm gonna take this and grab it. I grab it from underneath the wood. That way I can get it stretched all over the sides. So go this way, go that way, go that way, go that way. And then we can go back just a little bit, straighten it all out. Stretch some of that off down there. And you can keep going if you want, you know, keep just making the lines wider. I think that looks about, about good enough. Hands are covered. Looks pretty cool though. show you a better look at it. You can't really tell that the uh, red and pink color that I won't try to pronounce, can't really tell that it um, didn't mix or come out of the bottle right. It kind of blended in well with the black paint so that helped it look better. That's what the sides of it look like. 